So welcome everyone who choose to participate. Um, it's exciting because it's our first Facebook Live ever on Clear Life. And uh, I hope that you'll enjoy this and that we'll get to have many more interesting interview with uh, different he health experts. And uh, we choose this first one uh, with Adam because we made, we did a um, survey in the spring what uh, our customers wanted to learn about. And hopefully some of you are here now. Um, and one of the main things that came up was stress, how to have more time, um, how to, um, well, one, one thing that came up, just how to have time to do things that are good for me, that are healthy for me. Uh, and we, we talked about that, me and Adam and a few other people, and we thought that um, a live interview on the topic of stress could be really interesting. Also because, of course, there, it affects our, not just our health, but our quality of life in all kinds of different ways. Um, Oh, I forgot to introduce myself, by the way. I'm Tom. I'm one of the founders of Clear Life. Um, and I've had an interest in health and well-being for, well, since I was a teenager, basically. Um, and um, stress has been a big thing in, in my life. Uh, I've, I've experienced burnout syndrome about 10 years ago now. And I've also experienced recovering from that in different ways. And the practice that Adam will be sharing today has been one of the key support systems that I've used to uh, get back into balance, basically. And so Adam, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, thanks, Tom. Well, hello everyone, it's so good to be here and thanks, Tom, for having me on your program here. I'm calling in from Bolinas, California, which is just uh, north of San Francisco in the Bay Area. And uh, yeah, a little bit about me. Um, I, I'm originally from Canada and um, I became interested in health and healthy living and well-being in my early 20s. I was in the, the music scene in Canada and I was introduced to a lot of uh, new lifestyle choices, vegetarianism, food politics and so forth. And, and from then, I think my interest in health and has grown and it's just kind of a part of my everyday life now. And I struggled with stress and anxiety and worry most of my life. So I've been looking for um, solutions for a long time. I was really searching and seeking. Um, at one point I went traveling for about nine months. I went to all kinds of places like Hawaii and went to Thailand and India and Indonesia and Nepal and uh, you know I was just really looking for the best strategies for healthy living and also to find ways to manage my stress so I tried all kinds of things you know I went to different monasteries I tried various meditation practices and relaxation techniques and yoga tai chi qigong all these things I'm sure many of you have tried so I, I for sure have a yeah, I've tried a lot of things and experienced great results. But when I came back from this trip, I was uh, diagnosed with Lyme disease. And um, so that really kind of set me on a deeper search for health and well-being. You know, I had to be really diligent with my diet and, um, you know, just with Lyme disease, all of the symptoms, it can be different for everyone, but stress was certainly noticeable. And um you know, I spent a lot of time sleeping and also just looking for a solution. So I tried many things to um, just feel grounded and, you know, try to improve my life satisfaction. And but the, the best results I found uh, were when I met Candace O'Denver, the founder of Balance View. And that was about in 2006. And that's when things really started to shift for me when I uh, found a practice that was really immediate and provided um, direct results of feeling more relaxed and more grounded, more stable, being able to actually not just manage stress, but to be free from it. So that was about 10 years ago. And 
I've been involved in Balance U ever since. And, you know, I, just, I show up to the teachings and trainings. And one of the first teachings I did with Candice was actually in Engsbaka. Um, I think that was in 2007 at the No Mind Festival. So that's where I met you, Tom. And maybe I've met some of you who are streaming in here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a bit of my background. Oh, I'm a certified nutrition consultant and I have a degree in civil engineering and audio engineering. So I'm versed in all kinds of fields. And I, I realize how stress is really like the, the number one um, kind of problem in each field that I've been interested in. Yeah, I agree. That's what I see as well. Um, I didn't mention, but I'm also a nutritional uh, counselor um, by trade. And one of the things I see in myself and also in a lot of our clients at Clear Life and also before when I was working with individual clients is a feeling of stress around um, health and, and nutrition. And, and I think just that, just being able to apply a simple practice uh, to that area, just being more relaxed. And then uh, probably we're, we're getting into the the results that we wanted to share with you from this uh, um, practice or this training that, that Adam and many others are offering, um, that, that it's, it, in my experience, I have increased insight um, and increased clarity around what actually is good for me and what might just be, you know, somebody else's theory or an idea that I think I should be doing, but uh, maybe isn't, you know, enjoyable or even healthy for me. Okay, so um, I think you already shared about a little bit about what my first question was going to be, how you related to stress before you met the training. I could share more about that. Okay, so let's start with that then. Okay. How was it before you, you were introduced to this practice? Um, before I met Balance You and, you know, as I mentioned, when I was traveling, um, I guess initially how I used to deal with stress was I actually really indulged in it. Um, I didn't have any strategies. So when things felt stressful, I found myself just forcing my way through situations, whether it was work or with deadlines. Um, you know, there was a lot of harshness and, um, kind of resentment. And I, I usually resented what I, how I spoke to somebody in a stressful situation. Um, you know, I would really highlight the urgency of situations if it was at work or I played in a, in a band for about 10 years. So we were, if you play music and you do live shows or you're in the studio and there are certainly a lot of stressful situations and, and it just was messy and it never left anyone feeling great. Um, so that was the, my first approach. And then I figured out, well, maybe I should avoid these stressful situations. So painfully, you know, I, I left situations like I quit jobs, uh, left relationships. Uh, and, you know, this was really painful because there were so many missed out opportunities. Like I mentioned, I was in a band for a number of years. And when things started getting stressful and another opportunity came up, um, yeah, so I would just really avoid people, places, and things so that I didn't have to feel stressful, but it didn't really ultimately work. When I found myself in a new situation, that same sort of stress came with me, and um, yeah, it was really frustrating. So my, my next approach was to replace uh, stressful, negative feelings with something better, hopefully, so, you know, I learned a lot about meditation and different exercises and breathing. So I was trying to cultivate a sense of relaxation, um, thinking that, you know, that would pervade, pervade my, my days and really give me a, a strategy in stressful situations. So when I was out in nature and, you know, things were peaceful and relaxed, I thought, okay, this is great. But <laughs> what I realized is, I'm the kind of person who thinks a lot. So I'd be out in nature, out in the mountains, and I'd start thinking about work or relationships or worrying about the past or, you know, oh, yeah, I've got Lyme disease. I'm so exhausted. So, 
my attempt to get out of nature, get away from it all. I just brought everything with me. So that wasn't really a great strategy. Um, and then I, you know, I turned to nutrition and supplements then because I thought, well, maybe my nervous system's so out of whack. I need, you know, all of these different supplements that are going to calm my system and then I'll be relaxed and I won't be at the whim of stress. And, you know, all of these things, although they're, you know, I still might do these today. It's, it's really nice taking care of ourselves. It ultimately didn't provide uh, freedom from stress. You know, I didn't, I wasn't good at dealing with stress, you know, even though I felt more relaxed in general and things were opening up. So I, that's how I, I used to deal with stress. And I'm sure many people could relate. So how, how is it for you now, Adam? after you implemented this practice in your life? I would say, yeah, it's not like um, there aren't times when, you know, there's a surge of energy, like actually preparing for this interview. I, you know, I felt that the arising of energy and, but there's really um, a sense of just not being affected by it. Ultimately um, I feel really stable and, and open and clear and, and situations that really would have um, distracted me before. You know, the ups and downs of a stressful life, I, they're just not there anymore. Um, there's just such a, a different outlook. It's like having this balanced perspective of being on the top of a mountain. And um, I spent a lot of time in India over the past few years and we have teams of people working at our balance you centers and um, working in India provides a different set of challenges. And what I've seen is we have teams of volunteers and coming from all walks of life who are interested in the training, practicing the training. And um, there's just a real easy goingness. Um, there isn't like this perpetual negativity going on and there's a solution focus more than anything. It's just a real connected and easy, warm way of relating to each other. In terms of health, um, for sure, I used to worry a lot about my health, you know, especially something Lyme disease. Some people say it's incurable. And then being in India, getting different parasites and viruses and whatnot. But now I see, you know, there's, I still really have this desire to take care of myself, but I, I'm not consumed in the worry or the stress about it. It just doesn't really come up anymore. It's more like, um, you know, that the, the thoughts may come up. Oh, well, you know, something's shifting there. I need to take care of myself, but <laughs> there's not really a worry. There's more just joy and openness. And I guess just because I've been, you know, relying on this training for so many years now, there's just increasing ease, increasing relaxation more warmth and relationship, um, solution focus, stability, and, and the time to do the things I like to do. Hmm. All right. So what, what is this? Uh, <laughs> almost seems like magic bullet to, to cure stress. <laughs> what, what is the practice that you want to introduce us to today? Sure. Well, in, uh, in the balance you training, um, it, it's a way of using our mind. It's an education in the nature of mind. So typically we use our mind to focus in on the content and the examples that I gave earlier of how I indulged in my stress, you know, I was really emphasizing the thoughts, my emotions, all my some symptoms, sensations, where I would avoid or replace them. But in the, the balance shoe training, there's a practice of uh, clarifying all of these thoughts, emotions, sensations. In the balance shoe training, we call all of these data rather than trying to describe everything, sort everything out. So the practice is short moments of using our mind in a, in a relaxed way. And in the balance shoe training, mind is synonymous with open intelligence. So Practice is short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it's obvious. And an, an introduction to open intelligence and 
without seeing all of you, I'll pretend I'm seeing you, is to simply stop thinking for a moment. And when we stop thinking, what remains? Alertness, clarity, the power to know. Very simple, very direct. And it's, uh, it's not, not locatable, um, vast, expansive, like a clear sky. So that's an introduction to the nature of our mind, expansive, clear, wide open, like being on the top of a mountain. So if you imagine wanting to be free from stress, it would feel open, it would feel expansive and easygoing. Now that's actually what is available in each short moment. Like the basis of everything is actually this, this ease and vastness. So the introduction, bringing it back, uh, for me, it was helpful to stop thinking. Um, rather than referencing other teachings or practices, just really resting naturally for a short moment, resting body and mind for a short moment. And like we learn anything, when you repeat something, many times you, you learn how to do it. Um, this practice is really powerful and um, effective because these short moments, they, they grow longer. You don't have to contrive a state of relaxation. It's not getting into another state. It's recognizing this ease and relaxation that's present even in stressful situations. Um, so open intelligence is the word we use for mind. It's open, it's intelligent spacious. So on the contrary, when we focus in on the content, it's kind of like being in a valley and you only see a lot of descriptions. It feels tense. And when you rely on open intelligence, it's this starts to open up more and more in those short moments of resting body and mind naturally. So just an introduction to the training and, um, you know, there's for sure there's step-by-step -step instructions and we offer an entire support network to gain assurance and using our mind in this way. Just like me, Adam, we have both tried a lot of different approaches and, and what in your experience make this, makes this different? What, why why is that, has it been more maybe effective for you or more interesting to, to practice now for, for over 10 years, right? Yeah. Well, I would say having the, the support structure is it's definitely what makes this really different. A, a totally available 24 seven support network with uh, a trainer, a training, media, free media and a community. Yeah. But what I also see what the, I, before with all of my approaches, and somebody has a comment here focusing on oneself, I'm <laughs> very self-focused. It was focusing on all of the content, trying to make it look different. So, mm -hmm you know, feeling stressed, hoping that, you know, it would turn into something else. And in this practice, I've been able to allow descriptions to be as they are. I'm not trying to change them, just allowing them to be as they are. And I see that they, they self-release. Um, it, it's, yeah, there's not this micromanaging of, of my moods or my thoughts or emotions. I don't have to accumulate positive and get rid of the negative to really realize this relaxed state, this relaxed, all-encompassing state. And yeah, like I shared, the other approaches I used and, and even like nutrition and things, I felt better, but my thoughts were still kind of the same. And then with meditation, I was trying to get rid of thoughts, but I wasn't successful at getting rid of thoughts. I mean, I thought you had to. You know, I thought you had to eat a certain way, breathe a certain, sit a certain way, live a certain way. It was a destination based. And, and with the balance you approach, it's, you know, really all encompassing lifestyle, allowing things to be as they are perfect as they are naturally perfect. Um, relying on short moments of resting naturally, just a very natural approach, not something more effort, not like, dangling a carrot and trying to get to a destination. Hmm. So. 
Yeah, I can relate to that. That's uh, that's uh, very much mirroring how I felt um, when I first, well, well, when we met that summer and and Candies and a few other teachers was there and I um, I'd been doing so many different approaches um, like meditation, mindfulness, different kinds of therapy, yoga, and, you know, breathing exercises. And, and suddenly there was someone who told me that, oh, you could just um, relax. You know, you know, you don't need to um, have a specific set of thoughts, emotions, uh, sensations in the body, nutritional status, uh, before you then relax. You can just right now for a short moment, just, you know, okay as I am kind of <laughs> throughout my day whenever I remember that was that was huge for me and that was very different from what I'd been exposed to before uh, so yeah I'm wondering does anyone have uh, any specific questions relating to your own life or oh it reminds me of Eckhart Tolle yeah I can relate to that um, I don't read a question directly there to I don't know if you have any response to that Adam or I I'm not so familiar with Eckhart Tolle other than you know the title of his book right um, yeah even that for me like I practiced mindfulness and I was really it was effortful for me I was try efforting to be better or trying to be present so I used up a lot of energy trying to be present I'd be hard on myself you know, I'd be, when I went on that trip for nine months, I was working on a farm in Hawaii and I was like, okay, every day working on this farm, I'm going to be as present with every little movement that I can. And I was, it was actually really hard work. It was really hot, humid. We had machetes and <laughs> we were working mm -hmm. in a kava kava field, you know, kava kava from actually mm -hmm. a, an herb use oh, for yeah. We were actually, all we were doing was cutting down the old plants and it was hot and I started to, I actually got really ill there with some kind of parasite so I was trying to practice um, mindfulness and it was just like every moment I'd start slipping off into descriptions and getting lost in stories and you know an under mutter uh, am I doing this right and what's up with that person and so on and so on so it was it took a lot of focus and energy trying to be present. So you know, I found with Balance You it, that there, were, there was an effortlessness that wasn't available in other teachings. So it wasn't a destination or a, a place. It was all inclusive, uh, restful reality, open intelligence, naturally present, and even in the stressful situation. So I I wasn't trying to get into a different state or a better place. It it naturally started to open up that okay, there is this this grounded ease that's available. Mm. And uh, yeah, just so much easier for me anyway. Just such an effortless yet I started to see immediate results. I was actually really amazed. Uh, I went to one of the one day trainings where we read through a text and um you know we just had a, a short break and i was just walking around and i was like wow i all i did was show up i listened to some commentary and i read through the text and i was trying the practice and i felt more relaxed than i had pretty much ever and uh, i was the kind of person when somebody would say you know just relax <laughs> i would actually <laughs> do the opposite i would get you know really angry and say you just relax and <laughs> So, and this was a, really the first time I was like, yeah, I don't have to be sitting in a special way. It doesn't, doesn't matter what I ate this morning. Um, I don't have to be in nature. I, I can be anywhere. And, and there's an ability to be at ease and relaxed and where the mind is, it's just spacious and free, regardless of what's going on. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say a key thing for me there was... Um... Well, and, and still is. And I had uh, been to all kinds of workshops, as I shared, and, and practiced different things. And um, I thought many of them were amazing and, and that they worked while I was there. 
But when I got home, <laughs> it was it, it seemed effortful, and I also didn't have um, someone that I could talk to about it. Like, well, I might have a friend, or I or I could you know pay a hundred dollars an hour or or five hundred dollars an hour, depending on the teacher, uh, for a coaching session or something maybe via Skype or in person. Um, but there wasn't. I realized when I met uh, Balanced View that what I had been looking for was this kind of ongoing relationship where I was able to, whenever I needed it, stay in touch with someone that I trusted and that could could help me basically to to practice this and well to be more relaxed and be more at ease in my in my day to day life because that's in the in the end is where it matters. Uh, and I just thought maybe to share, you know, this week's this is it. It isn't like Oh, before I was always stressed, and now I'm never stressed anymore. That that's not how it has been for me. Uh, actually, this week has been really, really intense. Uh, you know, I I have a, a company. We we're planning this evening thing uh, uh, tonight, and we have I've had uh, we're looking for a new apartment, and we have a teenage daughter at home. Uh, we have a little dog that needs to go out, you know, five times per day, and so there has been a lot of you could call stress in my life but with this support and with this practice I feel like I mean how the way I would have related to this just five years ago is is like night, night and day I'm, I'm I think you know people close to me can notice that I can I can get stress like more or less stressed or relaxed but I still, you know, I show up, I, I can take care of things, I, I, I go to work, uh, I, I function, uh, I take care of myself, and uh, I feel generally at ease and at home in my own body and in my own life. And that wasn't the way I felt when I was younger. I, I felt quite lost and like I, I was uh, intensely seeking for well-being most of the time, if it was, you know, in, in relationships, in um in health like the perfect diet perfect exercise or the perfect state like internal state spiritual state whatever you want to call it that that whole sort of movement of my mind has has actually stopped which is quite astounding to me um so do, do you want to share a bit a little bit more about some of the benefits that uh one can expect from practicing this. There was nothing really that compared to this, this really deep sense of ease and relaxation, relaxing body and mind completely for short moments. It just starts to pervade our, our day-to-day experience and, and almost in an unexpected way. You know, it's, it's not like, yeah, it's, it's just very unexpected. Sometimes you'll find yourself maybe, I noticed when I was driving, I used to get really uptight and angry and stressed when I was driving in in California um, on the highways. And as I was driving out to some of these teachings and I noticed, well, first I recognized I had a choice, um, whether or not to indulge in the anger, avoid it or replace it or practice short moments. Um, something that helped me was letting, allowing data to be as they were. So it's just like, wow, a surge of anger, allowing it to be as it is. But by doing this, I started to notice increasing ease and relaxation, which is, you know, the result I was looking for. Um, mental and emotional stability. Um, that was that that's a very useful i mean in any situation feeling mentally stable or emotionally stable um you know with different diseases and 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 daily situation you mean you know if you look at any of the news today it looks very unstable so to realize there's a, a growing sense of mental and emotional stability in all situations and and again that you know it starts kind of slowly, we might recognize it very powerfully in the beginning. Um, Clarity, insight, and discernment. Now, that was helpful for when I was going through 
different approaches for finding solutions for Lyme disease. Um, I didn't have, even though I was a nutritionist and I, I uh, worked with some really great practitioners, I was kind of at the whim of the worry and stress. I was, I'd read something online, get distracted, worry, you know, God, am I doing this right? Um, and just getting so consumed, like being lost in the valley of descriptions um, and no discernment, really, like some discernment, but not, not a real clear discernment. So that's for sure a, a benefit that uh, I've experienced and I know many other people have. And then um, harmony and empowerment in relationships. Relationships can be a great source of stress. So increasing harmonization, empowerment in these relationships rather than feeling discouraged and isolated. And, um, and then having more time to do what we, we love. I for sure have seen um, how that opens up. Yes, thank you, Adam. Um, yeah, we, we, had, we had an interesting question here that I really resonate with. I find it difficult to accept ill health, any advice. Um, do, do you have any thoughts on that, Adam, or experience? I, I certainly do. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I'll share a bit, Tom, and then... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, well, something that helped me was... Um, yeah, in the in the teaching and the training, it's not about accepting or rejecting the descriptions. You know, the, the descriptions of the thoughts, emotions, sensations, what we call data in the training. We, it's in allowing things to be as they are. And Tom, you mentioned the support really powerfully, like having someone to confide in and having the support of the trainings. Um, I, I think for me that the, the support, which we should probably talk about at some point, the, the whole structure is what um, has helped me in these difficult situations. For instance, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. He went through chemo, radiation, he got better. But then the cancer came back a couple of years later. And luckily I was in the training at that time. So I had lots of support from, you know, I have a trainer and, um, yeah, I, I didn't have to kind of mentally analyze the situation to accept it. You know, it was like, wow, this is, you know, I'm, he might die. I'll never see him again. You know, lots came up for me and my family. And I was just very supported with um, Balanced View. And it was more an, an allowing, allowing like the the fear and the, the worry and the pain to be as it is. You know, I saw that it arose and self-released in this space of open intelligence. So I wasn't trying to do something like accept it or, you know, of course it is, it's painful, but, um, you know, just allowing it to be as it is, is it's one of the, the great instructions, allow data to be as they are in short moments, many times, allowing them to be as they are. We see that they're inseparable from open intelligence, like, the color blue in the sky are inseparable. They're one in the same. Uh, images in a crystal ball, are, they're one in the same from the crystal ball. So yeah, it's, I hope that's helpful. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I just think it's, a, it's been a really key question for me. Um, not necessarily to accept ill health, as you said, Adam, but I, I, I definitely, I've had, I had the same question and I think I still have it every time I feel, I don't feel well. <laughs> um, and at the same time, just like Adam shared, to, to be supported in and to have the ability to allow the body to be as it is right now is, um, well, it, 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 it frees up the stress around not feeling well. And then, and then for me, I've, I've, from that place of, you know, realizing that I'm, I, I can't like think myself out of how my body feels at this point or what, even what I think about it or what some doctor thinks about it. Uh, that's just how, as it is right now. But then as 
the more and more I've been able to relax with that. And I've had many years of struggling with my health uh, throughout my life. Um, it's much easier than to see clearly and to take action uh, in terms of what, well, you know, what's actually going to work. So I don't know if that's helpful, but uh, I think my, uh, my, yeah, accepting death, that's, that's, uh, I, I was actually holding back saying that, but that's because it might sound a, a little bit harsh, but that's, that's something that Candice, the, the founder of Balance View, often says that, you know, in, in the end, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, exactly, in the end, everyone, we, this body is going to die at some point. So the, the, you know, ill health and death is, is basically unavoidable in the long term. So for me, um, and I'd love to hear your experience with this as well, Adam, that I've, I've started to view it like that when I don't feel well. Okay, if, if I can't even relax with like having a cold or thinking, uh, you know, the, the thought that, oh, maybe I'm, you know, this is something more serious. Um, if I can't even relax with that and be clear, uh, you know, and content within myself, how is it going to be then when I'm, you know, older and, and when, at the point where I won't get ever well again? Uh, how is it going to be then if I internally feel I need to fight, which is, which is what we have learned in this society is that we need to fight all, all of these things within ourselves that we are afraid or that we are unwell or that we're angry or whatever, or stressed, whatever it is that goes on inside. So do you want to share something more around that, Adam? Uh, yeah, maybe briefly, because I, I wanted to get into the, the support. Yeah, 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 that's good. That, that's, that would be the next question. Right. How, how does that work, the support system? Yeah. So, definitely it's key in this kind of yes. with strong... Uh, belief systems or fears that we that everyone has. So it's it's great that you ask it, Monica. Thank you. Um, yeah. So with the topic of death and like I shared, um, you know, knowing that my dad had cancer, uh, I turned to the support of uh, Balanced View, and the support structure is called the Four Mainstays. So there are four pillars, four mainstays of the support. And the first mainstay is short, the practice of short moments of open intelligence, of using our mind in its most comprehensive way. So short moments of open intelligence repeated many times become continuous. And there are, of course, different ways to uh, view these short moments, but that would be a different in-depth topic. And the second of the mainstays is a trainer. So like I shared with in the topic of death, I had a trainer that I could, you know, just share openly with and, and find out how to empower myself, clarify the data that was coming up for me, uh, rather than just, you know, conversing with a friend and kind of feeling more vulnerable or, or, you know, feeling like a victim of the circumstances. So the trainer is the second mainstay. The third mainstay of the training media we have uh, tons of free media on the balancedview.org website. Um, Tom, maybe you could type that in the chat, www.balanceview.org. So if you go there and you go to the, <laughs> go to the media section, there are loads of free downloads and there are topics on death. You can search in the search window for death, illness, and you get to hear the experience of other trainers and of the founder um on this topic so how, yeah for me i listened to a lot of audios when i was driving um while working and put the headphones in while walking actually <laughs> any time of day even at night i know many people they've had these talks going at night they're they're very soothing very nourishing um em empowering and it just starts to become our direct experience when we hear it we can relate to it and there are many balance view trainers from all walks of life. So you get to hear the uh, kind of a, everyone's uh, style of, of teaching. And the fourth mainstay is a community, worldwide community around the world, people relying on the, the support of balance view and, you know, them sharing their experiences and what has worked for them. Um, 
I guess a, a few points that I mentioned that it's a 24 seven support. So you've got all the media online and there are many trainings to get involved with. And we actually, um, I guess as the next steps, we're nearing an end here, but as the next steps for anyone who is interested in finding out more, we have a four part training um, starting next Tuesday, it would be eight, eight to 9.30 Central European time for you there in Sweden or wherever you're calling from. Uh, so a four part training called Empower Open Intelligence, how to thrive without stress. So in the training, we have step-by-step -step instructions um, kind of walking you through, you know, how to rely on open intelligence, how to be free from stress, how to uh, approach challenging situations. And I'll actually, maybe while we're at it, I can post that link already in the timeline here. So if anyone's interested, they can click the link and go directly there. And also any questions that you have about the training, you can contact me directly. And that would be in the, in the link, but I can post that also. So yeah, the, the four mainstays, it's trying to do this on my own. I would have been consumed with referencing everything else I'd learned, uh, getting distracted by my own things. And so having full support has been crucial for me to really, you know, see that see the, the results of the training in action, seeing them demonstrated, having role models. I think you have a few more things to share about what could be a next step for those who want to know more about this. Yeah, I do. Um, we've recently started a new Facebook group called Bright, and it's a great way to be introduced to the four mainstays of Balanced View. And in this community of people, including the trainers, and I'll put the link here in the window, you can get to immediately um, experience the, the training from the trainers and hearing the experience of other people. And so if, if you're interested in seeing uh, how people are interacting in a, in a way that's, uh, that's really empowering, this is a great first step also. Another thing that I invite anyone to do, um, either just on our Facebook page in general or below this video, also if you're listening after this recording, um, is to post any questions you have around this or suggestions or questions you have around other health topics that you would like us to do Facebook Lives about. That would be fun. Yeah, nice to see the post from everyone here. It's, it's, um... Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. I think, yeah, again, I, I find this really remarkable to this aspect of community that is it's really stable and clear and powerful. Um, that's something I was really looking for when I met Balance U was a worldwide, I didn't think worldwide, I just thought, you know, I want a community of people who are really skillful, they're wise, they're interested in health. Um, but I actually, I didn't realize what was possible. Um, I hadn't seen a community of people that were so authentically open and loving and caring that, you know, that weren't distracted by the ups and downs of life. Like, it's not like it was a, a flat neutralized state where everyone was just <laughs> blissed out. It was like very real, very alive, very potent. And again, seeing the demonstration and Candace and the other teachers who came before me, the community, it was uh, really impactful. You know, I really got to see the, the teaching in action, um, going to Sweden that first time, traveling. I'd never been to Sweden and being with the other trainers on the train in Sweden. Uh, if you've ever been on the train in Sweden, when the trains separate at the mm -hmm. stop, and we didn't know that. And and so we're grabbing all our luggage and trying to run and catch the other one before it left. And, and I was, that was like my first year in the training. I'm with Candace and the other trainers. And, you know, of course there was like, wow, we got to do this, but it, it wasn't just a meltdown. It wasn't, you know, people weren't just screaming angry or it was like solution focus in a powerful yet easeful way. 
Mm. So, uh, I'll, I'll never forget those moments, you know, when being around the community and seeing the teaching in action. And you know, I just feel completely honored to be able to share this teaching with, with so many people and live this way. Um, we all know that, you know, stress is a huge topic, whether it's money or politics or health or decision making. So it's for sure something we could revisit many times and mm. share ours, what, what works for us. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Adam. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think maybe we're done unless there are any, oh, there's a, a, a share here from Sarah, who's both a community member and who also works at Clear Life, by the way. Um, she says, the community has been the most powerful mainstay for me, and I'm so grateful for all this support I received during the years I've been involved with this training. Thank you for having these topics on Facebook Live. Thank you, Sarah. Michael says, thank you. And uh, yeah, maybe a, a really short, interesting side note is uh, one of the key things for me when I became more interested in this training was actually from a management point of view, because I was... I was running a, a quite large organization at the time and I was looking, I was very interested in management models and leadership styles and like all of these things, how to basically make, have people get along and enjoy working together. Uh, and I just noticed that because you came to visit and <clears throat> Adam and, and the community and I noticed that it seemed like every, everything that the Balanced View community was doing seemed very smooth and like conflict free was which was to me unheard of you know i was i was very much into conflict uh, resolution and management but to <laughs> a community where it seemed like there wasn't any conflict it seemed fake to me at, at, at to be honest um, so i really had to uh, do my do my research about it and i saw just like what you were sharing that it wasn't fake it was very real it was really like human beings becoming maybe real for the first time, really, really beneficial, really powerful and really respectful in the relating. And, and so that's how we, how we decided to look into it with clear life. And maybe if it, if it was something that we could, we could use to run our company the way that we wanted. And, um, you know, which was to have fun in a relaxed and successful way at work and, and help people. Um, so, and, and I feel that this is what we are doing and what, what we have done so far and it's it's super exciting to bring this in for those of our in our community who might be interested in this so thank you so much everyone for joining in and thank you adam ah thanks tom um, that was really amazing i'm just going to post the link to the training here one more time for those who might be interested and yeah perfect we'd love to hear from you perfect thank you so much everybody bye for now great to be with you all bye